For years they've been saying these things would change the world, would mature from adding machines and typewriters to tools of the human spirit. Now, maybe it's coming true because of Internet. Internet is a growing grid of independent computer networks interlaced. It's evolved from a U.S. military bulletin board in the 1970s to a worldwide computer switchboard. There's two ways. You can either go and... You need a computer computers. and a phone, mm -hmm. and suddenly you're part of a new mesh of people, programs, archives, ideas. Playwright and Internet enthusiast John Allen says it feels a bit like everyday human fellowship, but it's bigger and more precise. You can walk into a bar and decide that you want to have a conversation about uh, football today because you were just at a football game. And there might be two or three people who want to talk about football in the bar, but it would be very difficult to find them. In this world, there's a table with a big sign on it saying football. And there's about 150 or 1,000 jocks from all around the world who want to talk about football. So you sit down, you say, what do you think of the Raiders? <coughs> and uh, 500 people answer you. Answer you through local switchboards like CRS in Toronto. CRS started as a local message exchange. Now it's a channel to internet as well and scrambling to plug in more lines and controllers. It's tapped a yearning to connect, to talk with the world about art, music, sex, guitar construction, conservative politics, grief. John Allen says it's a modulated anarchy. There's a, an interesting kind of restraint that you find. I mean, there's not a lot of cursing or swearing. There's not a lot of um, personal um, cuts. There's not a lot of um, put-downs that one would expect to find. There's not, you know, there's not screenfuls of, you know, go to hell, uh, um, which is surprising. So the kind of liberation is, is, is mixed. It's, it's interesting because one would think if you're anonymous, you'd do anything you want. But people have a, in a group, have their own sense of community and what we can do. The thing that, uh, though, that I'm always left with when I leave is this overwhelming desire for people to be rooted. And the only way they feel rooted is through another person. And if this is the way that they can, the only way maybe that they can talk to somebody, this is how they'll do it.